when I say mortgage interest rate plays a huge factor in the appreciation of real estate, this actually proves it. Hello, Shane Willis, Pensacola real estate expert, bringing you today's episode. Happy Thanksgiving. I am going to make this very, very quick because I know most people probably are not going to watch it on Thanksgiving. Um, and I am in the middle of eating probably way too much food right now. Um, yeah, so uh, I'm going to make it very, very quick. But I did want to say one of the things that I am thankful for, uh, besides my family um, and friends, is uh, listeners. I have actually really enjoyed growing the listener base to this podcast, both on just an audio section and on YouTube and Facebook um, and Instagram. So uh, I really appreciate all the comments, the likes. Uh, I would appreciate you keep, keeping those coming. And if you're listening to this on iTunes or SoundCloud or Stitcher or whatever, give me a, a comment uh, about the podcast because I really, really appreciate those. So thank you for those who have done that. Um, it is something that I am very thankful for. I hope I'm bringing you value with this show uh, every day that I do. <clears throat> Anyways, uh, I'm going to keep it, again, really short today. So I came across this uh, infographic that somebody did and uh, asked if I could use it. Freddie Mac was actually the one who came up with it. Uh, and this is where the information came from. And it basically said if you go across time, the average interest rate and mortgage payments that uh, – we're a couple of decades because we're almost we're in the end of this decade, which is really really weird to me. Um, but in the '70s, and it was groovy, baby. Uh, the average interest rate over the course of the '70s was 8.86 percent, 8.86 percent, and the mortgage payment was one thousand nine hundred eighty-six dollars. You get into the '80s where uh, Aquanet ruled because everybody had the poof, uh, unless you had a mullet. Uh, the average interest rate was 12.7%. 12.7%. That was a good interest rate. And your average payment was $2,707. Now let's move on up to the 90s and save by the bell. Um, it dropped back down to 8.12%. And the average payment was $1,855. Believe that? Wow, that's just that's crazy to me. And then the last decade, the average payment was... 6.29%. So it dropped right before that crash happened, right? And the average payment was $1,546. Today, the way this is looking on R, 3.66% and the average payment is $1,145. Now, don't forget, prices have gone up since the 70s. So your purchase price is up. When I say mortgage interest rate plays a huge factor in the appreciation of real estate, this actually proves it. So I just thought that would be kind of interesting, uh, something to kind of glance at and maybe laugh about. Uh, man, the 80s were rough. The 80s were rough. 12.7%. Uh, I was um, I was enjoying Jefferson Starship in the 80s, but you know, whatever. We'll talk about that later. All right, that's all I got for you today. Have a great Thanksgiving. I hope you are spending it with friends and family. Um, and if you're one of those people that are getting ready for Black Friday tomorrow, uh, either as a worker or or as a shopper, be safe. Don't do that stupid stuff where you're taking stuff, tackling people, and it's just stuff. It's just stuff. Don't do that. Don't don't do on the next day. We're supposed to be thankful for everything today, and the next day start beating people up over stuff. Don't do that. Don't do it. Um, subscribe to the podcast. Five minutes in real estate.com. I'll send you a couple of emails when the podcast comes out and get over to the Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash Shane Willis, the realtor. Like the page and tell me what you're thankful for today. What's the biggest thing you're thankful for today? Thanks for listening. Have a great Thanksgiving. <laughs>